Shamrocks of Spalding Academy. Here are starting lineups for this evening's contest. Uh, there you've got young people that want to step in and uh, play some football. First for the Huskies from Arcadia. Starting center, junior number 55, Randy Wright. When you talk about teams, you have two teams here. A lot of talent in both of these. Then the end and the senior number 44, Pat Eggmeyer. In order to be successful. Well, we've seen it on the last time. I'm sure you would like to go for a double headed sweep here tonight. The Academy is going to do their best to run a foot. And some good Cedar Valley Conference action here on the team will be tonight. And a junior, number 34. A moment here. Ryan Ryan well, we'll go ahead and mention that uh, we'll be watching all the Cedar Valley Conference action. Ryan 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 Ry
Man slice the quarterback. There's the pitch back to Casey Holman around the left side. In there, Trenton Harrell and Fabia on the sneak to the left side. Holman just got around the corner, and there is the first touchdown. Again, Arcadia jumps on top, six to nothing, and what that is is the a good one. defense. Jeremy Vance like took this up, and it hit the right cross bar and came back. In on the heavy rush there, number 10, John Riley, and number 82, Bob Collins, and Van Slyke. He'll put his foot into it. It is a short kick to the left side, and it's going to slam out of bounds. And they'll be able to move the ball out of out of bounds at the 30 yard line. You didn't get uh, all of that one, and Academy will get pretty good field position. Yes, they will. And uh, that ball. 15 on their own 31 yard line. The quarterback for the Shamrocks is number 51, Tim Riley. Dallas Murphy in the backfield. Tim it to John Riley. He's along the left side. The big running back to cross the 25 40. He's off the right. And John Riley again to learn to set that. Here's the case to Murphy coming around the right side, 25, 20, down to 19. Gain of nine, and he's going to be second down and five. As Dallas Murphy lined up in that one, let's try to change the first one. Quarterback right under center, they intend to run that, and now back to pass, looking to throw. Riley moving to his left, he's got a throw, goes to the end zone, but he's going to pass. And Dallas Murphy will line up right on the quarterback and Murphy's going to do the kicking for the score. Here's the snap. The down. The kick is up and it is. And and that means it's eight to six falling in With regularity, it'll probably put him through the end zone, but just in case he doesn't, they'll wait for him on the three. Here comes Murphy from the 30, boots it away, boots it away from Van Slyke, and he takes it at the one, and he's going to be able to get to the 10. Up and over the 15. Here's the count, the snap back up. No game. Falling Academy looking at the regular standard players at the same thing. That takes a surprise as they come. Paul looking to pass, double left, gets away from Murphy. Picks it off to uh, his man, Homer. Hands like that is across the 20 and 25 30, which is a flag in the backfield for one reason or another. And it occurred just as Holbert was going down, he flicked it over to Van Slyke, who made a good gain on the play, on Balling Academy. So evidently, as soon as he threw it away, one of the Shamrocks got a hold of the face mask of Holbert. And I believe they'll get the tax of penalty on to the end of this play. Let's see if the penalty is uh, from the point of the flag or from the end of the play. Everybody can run with it. 32 yard gain on third and 19. Moves the ball to the academy. 32 yard line, first down. Tight set. Quarterback Holman under the center. Looking to roll into his right. Good block laid there by Hagemeyer. Holman swings it back across and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Jeremy Dorsey. He was open. The Shamrocks uh, would have held him to maybe five yards if he hadn't broken any tackles. He had no blockers. Throw the ball to. He did, but it was simply overthrown. Look back. Holly is going to give it off to Casey Holbert. He's fighting his way. There's a flag down on the play. And he gets back maybe to the line of scrimmage. Let's see what the flag's all about. Murphy and Riley in on the tackle that time as the Arcadia uh, running back just was caught about at the line of scrimmage. He maybe got one yard and that's all. The flag is illegal procedure on Arcadia. And let's see if Academy takes the penalty or not. Second down again. Well, that's the second. 
kind of the ball game here for uh, Arcadia. But it's going to bring it third and 20. So again, Arcadia has to convert on the big play. Two men wide to the right. That's Hagemeyer. Exactly. And there's a pitch back to Holman. Over the middle. He's got the big guy, Randy Rice, across the 20. Holman people to the 15. First down, I believe, for the Huskies is the center. Randy Rice called in a perfect pass from Holman. And he's drawing a couple of shamrocks along the ground for the first down. And will three to Wood. First and goal. The ball's at the 12. Van Slyke takes it, pitches it back to Holbert, looking to the left side. Plenty of time, Holbert. A lot of coverage. He's looking, he's scrambling. Dallas Murphy has a hand on him, gets away. Holbert still looking, he's got him, he runs the football. And finally, John Leslie runs him down at the 10 yard line, a gain of about two. But they ran all over the field. And Holbert, no ball at the 10. And out wide to the right is Jeremy Dorsey. Two men left. There's the swing. Colbert to the left side, looking, looking. Finally, he's going to run, get the block. He's across the 10 down to about the end. And there was only so long that Jeremy Vance, like and Hagemeyer, can hold him off. The tackle made by number 26 for Spalding Academy. That's Mike Mahoney. Gain of about, uh, and I don't know how Arcadia made some positive out of it, but they did. Well, the lone man in the backfield, Holly. Now he'll pitch it to Holbert, who rolls to his right, looking, looking, looking to the left. There's the throw to Hagemeyer. He's got the catch, but he's not in the end zone. He's down at about the two or the five. Let's see what it is. Hagemeyer had to come down, kick that ball literally almost off the ground, and they'll look to pass. The first snap will be to Van Slyke. Well, we're waiting for it. There it is. The pitch to Holbert. Double rush. He's in trouble. Holbert is still fighting, fighting, fighting. Still fighting. And finally, they blow the whistle. Murphy couldn't get him down. But they're going to say his progress was stopped back around the 18 yard line. And the Academy defense is in the hole. A seven yard loss on that play. Dallas Murphy did everything he could to knock that football out of the hand of Mr. Holbert. But the flag went down. Now the officials are talking. Out on the field. About the flag. The end zone, yeah. the end zone, yeah. So a holding, and it's a defensive holding, which is an automatic first down, and the uh, flag is laying right left side. They shifted everybody but one receiver to the right. They all went to the right corner, but Holbert looked left, and that's where that holding flag is. There was nobody there. That's probably why he was being held, and that'll bring it first and goal, probably at the, about the two-yard line. They're off balance. And was able to move down the field, but he's making a difference in this ball game for the Huskies. Well, first and goal, the ball marked right about the two yard line. And the officials talking again. The down marker says fourth over there. It should be first. Automatic first down on that play, of course. Out wide to the right is Jeremy Dorsey, the center, Randy Rice. To the left, Paul Hagemeyer, and I believe that's Brian Hawley. And he's trying to respond down is what it is. So it's four down. So it's fourth down. And Arcadia will have to score here. Quick swing pass out. Hook and lateral. They get it to hold it. Quick down. Arcadia. The quick swing pass went to Jeremy Dorsey. He turned around and kicked it to hold it. And Arcadia gets the lead back. There's a man trying to have a little backyard football to be good. The last one hit the right upright and bounced out. Here's the snap. It's high. Hagemeyer gets it down, and this one gets blocked. John Riley had it hit about the knee. He was so high. It was a good kick. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter of the play, and we got ourselves a well of a ball game here. And the kickoff by Van Slyke. It's a good, deep one. Uh, Murphy will run up and take it about the 13. To the right side, the cut back. He's got open running room. He's in the 25-30, and then he's game tackle. In there, the 33, Jeremy Dorsey. Also over there, number 25, Holbert and Van Slyke. They can go at about any time, and we look for Dallas Murphy to try to break that one. But uh, defensively, Arcadia was up to it. Mike Mahoney in the backfield, but the pitch goes to Murphy. He's across the 35-40. He's spinning, trying to break that one, but that's all the farther he's going to go. Van Slyke. Early. Hagemeyer finished him. Straight uh, throw set, split back, tight line. Quarterback Riley takes it, pitches it in the back. Then the ball fumbled, and uh, I think Academy got back on top of it. He was headed right into the gut of uh, Casey Holbert, but it went off the back of somebody's foot, and the quarterback Riley was able to get back on top of it. So a loss of two, and that'll make it third down in about now. And Riley gets up off the turf for the football on the hand. Two seconds to go first quarter, 39 Academy, and it's now 12 here for the Huskies. Here's the snap to Riley. He is going to go back, looking to pass. Here's the rush. Good blocking. Good blocking. And he'll finally dump it out to a wide open. Mike Mahoney. He's got the 
pick up another one to take the ball at the 17. This should be the last play of the quarter. Riley takes the snap. Pitch back. Murphy looks at the ball and going to the end zone and he overthrows it to the receiver. He's going to get the lead. Trying to get it to John Riley. Here is Murphy in motion. A little stagger step. Riley pitches back to John Riley. He's looking to pass. It comes to rush. It's going across the middle. And down the middle. And in the middle. And down the middle. All in late to lumber on it. In the second quarter of action. The Stone Academy uh, holding on to that lead. And here's Walt Smith to bring you quarter number two. Thank you very much. Here's the pitch back to Alex Murphy. Around the right side, he is going to score. Alex Murphy hit the pitch 12 yards. He's going to use all the center. And the uh, Academy is regaining the lead now. So he picked up the tempo. He's going to be 12 and nobody. Absolutely nobody laid a hand on that. And we've seen a few of them already. Holding the uh, football for the two points. Ready to do the two point conversions. Rose Smith, Riley gets the ball. Good. 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 With 9.54 left to go in the half, it is 16 to start. And Arcadia is having to move people in just simply to give some of the starters a little break, a little breather once in a while. The Falling Academy goes very, very deep. They're ready to kick the ball down as Murphy. Ready to kick the ball as Jeremy's on the side. He's about to the Hagmar is going to take the snap. There are three men back. They'll pick it up. And again, the two numbers we've seen most of the evening, Gabe Riley took the snap. Huskies have uh, Brian Hawley wide to left. The snap goes back to the roll. Uh, Hawley has to change back. Huskies have to change back. 25 seconds. And Hawley has to change back. And Hawley has to change back. And Hawley has to change back. And Hawley has to change a good play there, and again, number 26. We're talking about three down linemen for a tie, they're going to put the rush on the ball. In motion, Higemeyer to the near side. They'll push him down. He's going to keep the ball. 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 No, I don't believe so. I think the artillery fans wanted to get the line of on the sidelines, but I'm sure our first flag's an illegal shift against uh, Arcadia. Hagemeyer never uh, got where he uh, exactly wanted to be, and they snapped the ball. And so it's going to be motion on Arcadia that will be the first down run. And instead of first and goal, it should be second down. And uh, there's a little bit more back there, certainly not the much we can stand as uh, Arcadia is going to be dropping back. And in the top penalty of the ball game against Arcadia for 10 yards. And that will make it second down on about 10. I've got a postman down at the other end of the field. Second and 10 for Huskies after the penalty. And the Arcadia Huskies are back now at their own 20, or at the Academy 27. Snap is back. Hold it. Runs it. Picks the ball forward. It's complete. And the shoulder pass. 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 Let's see if they try to get a little look in pass somewhere. There's the. He's got pressure. Bob Carlin got up in the air and knocked it out. Oh, 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 o
Arcadia Husky player. It's like they've all been tough. He'll be back. All right, the quarterback calling signals for Academy. They're down at about the eight. Murphy takes over there. 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 Murphy takes over
Is Vance like oh. in motion with Holly? And we should have probably a delay of game. Let's see what they decide they're going to call here. He's going to be offside on the uh, Maybe to play a little bit uh, long to uh, develop himself. It was a uh, Academy up 32-12, Arcadia with the ball. That was pretty to an exciting plan about every snap of the ball. Arcadia has it. They have it third. Throw it again. Throw it again. He's going to throw it again, and it's going to be trying to get the ball eventually to Jeremy Van Slyke. His own 50-yard line will take it away. Dallas Murphy will go back. Snap is back. A lot of pressure. Oh, wait, it's a good one. And even Murphy can run it out. Doug, he took that ball from the Go down there as a the Lead a 32 to the Duncan Gordon Newtown. So it's going to be a second down. Right, it's going to be a second down. It's going to be a second down. It's back down to 15 with me. Over to Dallas. 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 Over to
the seven yard line. Carlin had just enough of an impact. The man's like trying to get to the left side, breaks a tackle inside the five, and that's where he's going to be stacked up by just about everyone on the team. He avoided the uh, man in the backfield, and then the rest of the team got him. David Riley, and off the bottom of the pile there. And uh, second and goal with the five off the left hash mark. Here's the pitch swinging around to the right side. They give it to Casey Holbert. He's not going to get to the corner of the end zone. He's left out of bounds there by Dallas Murphy. And they'll mark him out. So let's see what they do here. Holly with the snap. Back fakes. He's looking to go left. Throwing it to the end zone. He's got a man. Touchdown. Jeremy Dorsey on the five yard touchdown reception. And the Huskies are back on the scoreboard with 8.39 to go, third quarter. It's 32 to 18. A chance to the lead in Arcadia. Needs to put an extra point in the goal play. So they don't fall too far behind there. Cost him already. Play was the 43 yard run of Hagemeyer. Here's the kick. It is up and it is good. And it is 32 to 20 with 8.39 to go. Arcadia back with the two scores. The Academy. It's going to be 32 to 20 ball game. Following the Academy. This is late in the Arcadia Huskies. Very good opening performance. And Van Slyke kicks a high short one that is taken by Schaefer at about the 20. He's looking for running room, cut back to the right side, and he's tackled down there by Brian Holly as he made it out across the 25 to about the 26 yard line. And that's where the Shamrocks will start here in the second half. First and 15 at their own 26. And Schaefer got to touch the ball for the first time tonight. And Sham under the quarterback, John Riley in motion from right to left to Murphy. And he's hit hard in the backfield and he's going nowhere. Trying to pick it to someone at the last minute, but couldn't. Randy Rice finished him off after Casey Holbert put the big stick on him. And a gain of about up to the left, John Riley in the backfield. They ran this for a pretty good game in the first quarter. And here it is. The pitch to Riley over the right side. And they're going again for 5-10. Out across the 30 to the 34. And a good gain on the play there. From about the 25 out to the 34 of 9. Set. This time they'll pitch it to Riley around the left side. He's got running room across the 40. He's hit down. It's going to be close to the first there. I think they give him a pretty good spot. So he may have like that from John Riley. He ain't able to do that yet. Here's a pitch to Dallas Murphy to the 35 up the middle. 30. And he's slowed up a little bit at the 25, but lunges forward to the 32. And the 33, Jeremy Dorsey standing up. And here's Hanemeyer and uh, Foley, I believe. I mean, they fumble it. The ball's still loose. Did Riley get back on top of it or not? I think he did. He struggled. He got slipped out of there once, and then he was able to get it back. So a loss of about three on the play. That's the second fumble on the ball. The Ox at their own 24. Yeah. Out of the eye set, they'll pick it to Dallas Murphy, looking to throw across the middle, incomplete. He will have the John Riley and his own flag on the play. Passing and John uh, mishandled very well, but he fired a bullet in the rain right now, and it's starting to get just a, a few drops here, but it's just starting to rain. It's been cloudy. And the ball against the Shamrocks. And the Shamrocks are going to go against the Shamrocks to, to see what Arcadia decides they want to do. Second at about 26. There's the pitch back, trying to reverse ball. Luis Arcadia is on top of it. The pitch back was a, a non-looker. He just turned around the pitch and But Academy catches a major break, and it's going to be third and 27. At their own 36, Murphy gets the pitch, looking to throw, looking to go deep. Now he's going to run. He stiffs on one man across the 30 to the 25, and he's got down at the 24. Van Slyke slowed him up, and Casey Holbert ran him down. And he's going to bring up a big team to hold Academy here. Academy can really use some help. Here's uh, the pitch. he get it out to John Riley to the 20, cut back to the 15, and their ball is loose. Arcadia's got it to the 25-30, out to the 35, and to the 30. Yard line. Let's pick up the number as it was scored loose. John Riley trying to get the extra yard. And Jeremy Dorsey. Oh, let's see if Academy can come up big. The pitch to Randy Rice in the backfield. He'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. We have it. Holly dropping back the pass. Good protection. Going long and no one's there. Uh, Jeremy Van Slyke couldn't get through the traffic at the line of scrimmage on the timing pattern. And when he came out, he still had a good read. Still there, split backs. No one out wide. Here's Holly. They give it to Rice again to run it. He's out to the 40. He goes down to the 37. A gain of about four for Randy Rice. And this offensive series, booted a 52 snap. Dorsey picks it away. I think somebody got a hand on it. It goes down to the 25. 
Straight back to Holly. Huff takes, looking to go deep to Dorsey, and he kind of stumbled and then it went off his hand. I don't know what exactly happened. Dorsey got the pass. Holly running, running. He's in trouble. One man lets him get away from another going to his left. He's got Dorsey at the other end of the field, but he has no chance in the game early. Bobby Holmer was able to steal away from the defender and Brian Huff the ball away. A good snap. The rush, There's Riley, the here's a good kick. Bounces high and taken by Murphy at the 17. Up to the 20, 25, and Murphy got a pass at the 30. And a pretty good boot to the 17-yard kick that time. There's two 15 for the Shamrocks from the... Well, we're back. The Academy on the ball. Here's a pick. Riley fumbled it, but got it back. Now there's a play on the play as it comes across the 35 and the 37. And Academy almost ran into some disaster again, but we do have a penalty flag on the play. And it looks like the uh, flag is going to go against the Shamrock. Let's see what the... Uh, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, you got to give John Riley some credit there. That ball was just never really in his hands. He was able to keep it. He was able to keep it. He keep the football. The flag is at first and 30 inside the 20-yard line. There's a coming back. John Riley wants to run. Holly strings it out. And he's tackled outside. And a big tackle there by the Spike. Coming off his uh, secondary position. I set Murphy the eye back. There's the handoff to him off the right side across the 25. He's so quick through that hole and immediately across the 25 up to the 28. And he is about 10 on the play. Field along with Murphy under 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Back to pass is Riley. Rolling to his right. Looking for John Riley. And hot flag. And there's going to be a flag on the play as well. Peter Ferris. And that's going to be good enough. Well, probably for a first down. That's twice that the official is down about two yards away from that. The Huskies. So it was first and 30, but they're able to get the first down. And Riley dropped back straight, looking for John Riley wide open. Complete and tackled the game with the 31 yard line on the end of the fight. And we're ready for the fourth quarter, second and seven for Academy. And again, here's Waltz. All right, Doc, thank you very much. There's a scoop. Rolling around the right side is Donald Murphy. He's at the 20, inside the line, 17 of the end of the game. Paul has the first down. He got 15, as a matter of fact. First down. At the 19 yard line of the Arcadia Husky, but a half mark near the side. Both backs to split up. This is number 26, turning on the left side. Rolling around the right, the left side, the right side. He's inside the field, down to about the five. You see where he finally put the ball in. 59, Ryan on the stop. He was wrapped up there at the fifth four yards to go for Academy. They're right in the middle of the field. Long count ends are inside again. They put the ball back down. Perfect on the front right now. Finally, we've got a flag. Uh, right the the line. Hit the ball carrier first. He spun away from it. It's going to be a face mask on uh, Rice, Walt. Uh, he wrapped him up and then... Three yard line. Between the two and three, it looks like, Walt. Right. Be first down and goal for a 
Horvath brings his team up to Tim Riley at the line of scrimmage. Long count. Turns to the Took a while. Arcadia Hastings got down. Makes it 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 down. Makes it
so fortunate as we wind down to about 40 seconds to go in the game. They've got things in tow at 62 20. Tony Murphy, a uh, senior. Martin Goodrich, the quarterback, Walt, number 33. Now, he's going to look at him. 16. He comes up to the line of scrimmage. His back to split, takes the snap. Takes Once the again, line of the ball. Number 33. 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 Number 33.